Hello YouTubers, this is Romeo 2 Delta Mike Delta. This is the third video in a series of videos related to Chinese handheld transceivers. In the first video I did visual comparison of these uh, radios uh, in terms of ease of use, usability. Uh, the second video was dedicated to distance tests. And now it's time for the third video. Third video will be dedicated entirely to a comparison of receive quality and sensitivity. I did yesterday receive tests of these radios uh, in the evening, because in the evening there is a significant activity at ham to meter band. And I was surprised to see how easily Voxon, this radio, outperformed all other radios. To bow fangs were just total fail. Uh, using the same antenna, Voxon was uh, receive quality was very good, just brilliant, no noises, very good. Bow fangs were just silent using the same antenna. I stress it once again. Boxing was somewhere in between because it could receive and there was some sound, but it was it contained noises. Quan Shan was closer to bow fangs. So based on yesterday's uh, test for me, it was uh, Waxon was winner. Then somewhere behind him, far behind him was boxing, and bow fangs somewhere at the bottom. But yesterday I wasn't prepared to make a video, so I'll repeat this test today and shoot a video. So let's wait till the evening because, as I have already said. Uh, ham activity is increasing at that time and while it is still daytime let me show you my antenna setup so guys right now we are at the balcony this is Nagoya UT 108 car top antenna installed at a metal windowsill so installation is not perfect as you can see but very dirty one but that's the only what I, installation that I have. So I'll be using this antenna. Here it's cable and connector. And I'll be uh, plugging this connector into each radio to compare receive quality. I will also you will be using this antenna. This is Nagoya 771. But the main antenna for comparison is definitely this one. Nagoya UT108. And uh, I'll be using, I'll be taking advantage of living quite high. This is 18th floor. Waxon KG UVD 1P with squelch set to 5 easily outperforms bow fan UV 82HX with squelch set to 0 using the same antenna. Waxon KG UVD 1P using antenna Nagoya 771 performs nearly the same as Baofan UVB2 UVB2 Plus using larger external antenna. Ставишь, ставишь 64, он мерзает, начинает там что-то никак не поделит власть между собой. 
Я подумал, подумал, какая разница. Waxon KG UVD 1P using external antenna Nagoya UT 108 with bow fan UV 5R using Nagoya NA 771. Waxon KG UVD 1P using external antenna Nagoya UT 108 with Paxson PX 888K using Nagoya 771. Waxon KG UVD 1P using external antenna Nagoya UT 108 with Quanshan TG UV2 using Nagoya NA771. So guys, it's time for results now. Super heterodyne radio, Waxon KG UVD 1P beats all other radios and beats them easily. Using both Nagoya UT 108, this large antenna, not so large but larger, and using Nagoya UT 108. Its receive quality is superior, and that test was about receive quality. And I believe this is because this is super heterodyne radio. And the first place goes definitely to this radio. Second place could be shared between Quan Shen, this radio, and Poxin, this radio. Well, in my previous videos I showed that Quan Shen, in terms of usability, is far from being the winner, but in terms of receive quality, I believe it could be second place. So, Paxin goes to the third place, and unfortunately for Bao Fangs, they are the last ones. All Bao Fan radios are at the bottom of my top list in terms of receive quality. Out of all the, these three bow fangs, I presume this bow fan UVB2 Plus is the best out of all these bow fangs. Then goes this one, this is a UV82HX and UV5R is the last one. And this is in terms of receive quality, I repeat. So guys, Thank you for watching my video. Sorry that I couldn't show you uh, videos of each radio with each antenna and its receive quality. But I did some selection and showed it to you and summarized results as I see them. Thank you for, very much for watching my video. This was Romeo 2 Delta Mike Delta.